So I think what I'm going to start doing is just calling these videos Rick's Rants. Because I said that yesterday and it kind of makes me laugh. And it's a little true because people tell me all the time that I'm opinionated and I'm always ranting about something. So I think it's funny and I'm going to say this is the latest edition of Rick's Rants. Hardly anybody's looking at it anyway, so it's not like the whole world sees it. Um, anyway, my latest today is actually going to be about two things. One's going to be a little bit quicker and the other one's just kind of a, a thought I'm having or whatever. One is I recently unfriended somebody that I've been friends with for a long time. Uh, well, not really have been friends with for a long time, but she was someone that I knew in high school and was pretty good friends with and was always really sweet to me and and we got along really well and and everything. But I unfriended her because and this I don't know, maybe some of you will think this is childish, but she's always saying, you know, I had invited her one time to come see the band perform, my band perform. And she said, oh, I, you know, I would, but I never get out of the house. I'm, I'm so busy, and I, I really practically never leave the house. Well, then the funny thing is, is that I'm constantly seeing posts by her on Facebook where she's gone out with a whole bunch of other people that we know. She's regularly doing that. She hangs out with them. She goes to see them. As a matter of fact, a couple of these people are friends with me as well, and they all regularly hang out with each other, and they never can seem to find the time to hang out with me. They never can seem to find the time to see me. And one of these people, I'm not going to call their name out specifically, but she'll probably know who she is once I say this. One of these people I was very, very close with in high school was one of my best friends. Always has excuses why she can't ever make time for me. But when I lived in Maryland, any time that I would come down to see her, I would always go see her when I would come to Nashville. And I had to pencil myself into her schedule to do so. I was traveling 800 miles. She never would say, okay, well, what day are you free and I'll come see you? No, it was always me asking her, what day are you free and I'll come see you? So now we live in the same place. I live one county away from her, maybe half an hour. She supposedly is too busy to see me as well. Now, all these people have children. But what's so funny is if you're so busy that you can't see me and I never can get you to firm up plans to see me, but yet you're always hanging out with each other and then you turn around and say to me, well, I can't hang out with you because I don't have time. Then to me, that really just says you don't have any fucking interest in hanging out with me at all. And so I'm getting to the point where I just cut people like that out of my life. And the reason is because as I'm getting older, the older I get, and I'm going to be 40 next year, I can't believe I'm saying that. But as I get older, I just think to myself, I don't want insincere people in my life. I'm tired of people bullshitting me. I'm tired of people lying to me. I've been through that kind of stuff enough, and I'm just over it. Um, so if you're not going to be real and sincere with me, I don't have any time for you. So I guess, number one, I'm posting this part of this video to say to anybody else out there, how do you feel about this? You know, Do you agree with me? Do you think I'm being heavy-handed? Am I being childish? I just kind of feel like my, my life and my time needs to be taken up with people who are sincere and who are real and who are serious and who really actually give a damn about me. And when you keep giving me the blow off, to me that just says you don't really give a damn. Anyway, that's my opinion on that. Anybody who does see this and wants to comment, anybody on my friends list or whatever, please feel free to because I'd really like to know how you feel. Um, these videos usually wind up going so long anyway that not many people watch them, so that's fine. But I just, I'm, I've really started to find this very fun as, as a nice way to just kind of get my feelings out. It's kind of like having a video diary. It's very cathartic for me. Um, hopefully it's not conceited of me to do this. I, I'm, I hope not, but I'm really enjoying doing it. I, I just really, like I said, I find this to be a very cathartic experience. It's kind of like having a diary, but on video. And I just think it's kind of neat sometimes to hear the feedback from other people. So anyway, the other thing is um, something that I'm finding very interesting about my own life. And, I, and I've said this for a while, but I really am starting to see that this really is true. I don't really fit in anywhere. I think it's one of the reasons I have such a hard time um, having huge circles of friends. And it's also one of the reasons I have a hard time finding a, 
a really good boyfriend, you know, partner, husband, because I don't fit in anywhere um, in any aspect of my life. When I was in high school, I didn't fit in any um, in any of the cliques or groups. I wasn't a redneck. I wasn't like a hip hop kid. I wasn't um, I wasn't a punk rock kid. I wasn't one of the alternative kids. I wasn't really overly wild. Uh, I was somewhat nerdy, but I wasn't really like one of the geeky kids. I mean, I had friends that were in all different groups. I had friends of different races, religions, uh, you know, everything. I, that's that's always been a constant in my life. But even among my fellow atheists, I don't fit in. Even among my fellow vegans, a lot of the times I don't always fit in. I see a lot of vegans that I know that are on groups on Facebook, and I'm not in them. One of the groups has got like, 2,000 people in it, and I mean, I must have two or 300 friends in that group at least, and I'm not in the group. Um, I could probably join it, but I just have found that I don't find myself fitting in everywhere. I don't fit in with gay men. I don't fit in with my fellow atheists. I don't fit in with um, uh, my fellow vegans. I don't always fit in with my fellow liberals because there are certain things that I don't agree with there, too. I'm just kind of out here somewhere off by myself. And I think that I have a couple friends on Facebook that are really that way, too. Um, I think Krishna, you know who you are when I say your first names. Krishna, I think you're like that. I think Tracy, you're like that to an extent. Um, there are others probably take me forever to call everybody out, but you two specifically come to mind. Christopher, you come to mind. C, you know who you are. Um, Deshila, Miss D, you know who you are. Uh, I think, I think, you know, I tend to gravitate to other people like that too, but even then I don't always agree or fit in, you know, and I think they probably experience something similar too. I don't want to speak for other people too much, but I just find that interesting, and I think that my, my whole point of this part is I think that must be something innate inside of me. I really do. I think that there's something about me that has always made me different. I don't fit in with the crowd. I don't, I don't like cliques. I don't like... I mean, even and even though technically in high school, I had a... I mean, I had a group of friends that was... We were like a little clique. Um, but not to the exclusion of other people, but it was just like I had a certain circle of friends. But what's interesting is, is that I've grown older. The only one of those people uh, there th I, 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 that I can think of right offhand, there are three who regularly keep in touch with me, who were among my circle of friends, who regularly keep in touch with me, who actually make a concerted effort to keep in touch with me, and that's uh, D.D., and Rannies and Rodneys. Most of the other people that I was friends with in high school either actually don't talk to me anymore or uh, don't really make an effort to keep any real contact with me. And I think it's because, number one, a lot of them are religious and I'm not. A couple of them are actually con pretty conservative Republicans and I'm definitely not that. Um, and plus, as I've gotten older, I'm a lot less meek and mild mannered and I don't I'm I don't I don't care whether people like me or not about being popular, you know, as far as the popularity game, I don't care. Um, uh, sure. Does it get lonely sometimes being out here on this little island by yourself? Sure. But popularity is not just for popularity's sake is not what I want. I would I would never seek that. And I think, looking back on it, I've just naturally always been different than the crowd. And the fact of the matter is, our society does not value unique individuals. We say that we do, but this country, this society does not value people who are unique. If you step outside the box, you are vilified, you are made fun of, um, you are not treated as if you are uh, worthwhile or of value. And that's the truth. You can turn on television, read a book, read a magazine, encounter your friends, and you see that that's, that's true. You know, that difference is not considered a good quality. So many people want to blend in and be fence-sitters. 
So I guess those were my two thoughts today. I just kind of thought, you know, um, I just got to thinking about the, um, the both of them today. I just got to thinking about both of those things, but especially the, the part about being different. I just thought, um, you know, I've always been different. Even as a kid, I was just not like everybody else. Um, and I think that that's what makes it, you know, more difficult to find a partner, to find lots of friends. You know, I just don't have tons of friends. And, but the thing is, if being myself and being real, if that's the consequence of being a real person and being myself and not following the crowd, I'm okay with that. I really am. Even though there may be times that I get lonely. Um, I'm okay with that because I don't want to be anything but myself. Um, and so I guess that's it. And um, any of you who are interested in giving me your opinion on unfriending people who are insincere, I would like to know. I'm kind of curious. Because um, I've noticed, too, that what has happened is of all the people that I've unfriended, um, from Facebook, most of them don't even know it and probably don't care. And so I feel as if, uh, I mean, hardly any of them's ever said anything to me about it. Only one person has that I can remember anyway offhand. And so that tells me right there that I probably didn't need them in my life or want them around anyway, because if you don't care that you're gone, then you probably didn't really want to be there in the first place. But anyway, this, uh, this has gotten long enough, so I think I'll end for right now. Uh, I'll be interested to hear what anybody has to say about this. And uh, stay tuned for the next one, I guess. <laughs>